Coronavirus takes 215,700 lives in Iran. Over 215,700 people have died of the novel coronavirus in 480 cities checkered across all of Iran's 31 provinces. According to reports tallied by the Iranian opposition, People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran, as of Sunday afternoon local time. The official death toll declared by the regime stands at 58,945, around a third of the actual figure. The mutated virus found in the UK, Brazil and South Africa has a high death rate. We are seeing this in Tehran and other cities, and it is circulating around our country now. I have never been so concerned about COVID-19 as I am now, said Deputy Health Minister Iraj Harichi on Sunday. People are tired. Medical professionals are tired. A country that has experienced negative economic growth is now faced with coronavirus that kills both people and the economy, rises unemployment and inflation, and results in skyrocketing prices. In a country that already had high prices and inflation in double digits, people get tired after some time, he added according to State TV. Iran Widespread protests by pensioners On Sunday, pensioners and welfare recipients held protest rallies in several cities to reiterate their demands from the regime. In the past years, the pensioners have been regularly protesting low wages and the government's refusal to adjust their pensions based on the devaluation of the real and the rising inflation rate. In Tehran, the pensioners and welfare recipients gathered in front of the majlis where a group of teachers had also gathered to protest low wages and other problems in the education system. The protesters are demanding free health care for pensioners and the prioritization of the pensioners' demands in majlis sessions. Iranian opposition leader Mrs. Mara Majabi hailed rising pensioners and said, so long as the Kurekar regime is in power, poverty, inflation, unemployment and fraud will continue. I call on Iran youth to support the nationwide movement of the retirees.